Hello everybody, my name is Rolak and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we uh, ventured into the bottom of the well of Cat Creek Village, grabbed ourselves the mysterious Lens of Truth, and in this episode, we are going to be heading into the Shadow Temple. Now to actually uh, head into the Shadow Temple, we actually need a required item known as uh, Din's Fire. So, this could be either completely optional or you could manually light all the torches on fire with your fire arrows. However, I'm not crazy, so I'm not going to do that. So, let's just head right into the temple. <clears throat> Alright, Shadow Temple. Alright, first of all things, uh, we could technically enter this as a kid, but without the hookshot, we wouldn't really get too far. The shadow temp the shadow will yield only to one with the eye of truth handed down in Kakrika Village. Obviously it's an imaginary wall right there, so or invisible or fake wall, I guess you can call it. Uh, first things we want to do is head into this little door right over here. Obviously it contains, you know, goodies and whatnot. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Now, you could just completely go through this dungeon without the Eye of Truth, with the Lens of Truth. Uh, but frankly, I don't want to do that. Shadow and Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. I don't know the full story of this place also. It's really creepy. Like, there are some, like, uh, theories here and there, but I'm not too sure what the whole story about this place is. That's not what I meant to do, but it's going to work anyway. <laughs> Target them. Uh, got some keys over there. I do not have enough arrows. Is there arrows in these pots? Okay, there are. Thank God. I was still low on from gathering uh, the pose. That's no real problem. Alright, this... I don't believe... Yes, there is a chest. Okay. Is this the dungeon item already? It's not the dungeon item already. It's one of the maps, isn't it? It's gotta be the map. Unless I'm being complete fool of myself. Alright, this is the map. Okay, cool. Alright, so, uh, so far we've explored all but one small room. Uh, that small room is over this way. Yes, yes. Oh, that was a new quote. Damn it. Phantom pots. I think the phantom pops pots are actually smaller than regular pots. What is hidden in the darkness tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. That's not what I meant to do. Why do I still have dense fire on my button? God damn it. Doesn't even destroy the pots. Um, go ahead and recap. I only get 10. God damn it. Yes, yes. Greed and hatred. That makes you think. Alright. So, uh, this seems familiar. So, there is actually a trick you can do with this guy. Uh, using the lens of truth, you can actually see where he'll pop up. And if you go ahead and drop a bomb where he's about to pop up, you can just spawn him without having to be grabbed by the hands, which is super handy. Thankfully, with our Master Sword, we're going to be dealing a lot more damage than our Kokiri Sword. Alright, he's going to be spawning right over there. That's right next to a hand, so that's really annoying. You can just throw a bomb over there. There we go. We can try for a jump attack. Eh, jump attacks are really tricky, actually. Oh, there we go. That was super easy. <laughs> Let's give him a couple spin attacks and he's down for the count. Oh, I should mention, um, while using your... You can't use two magic things at the same time. So, say if you use... Uh, oh, wait, no. This is probably a better example because it's less magic. So, say you want to use uh, this and that. It just won't let you. Uh, also, when you charge up your sword while using the magic lens, you also can't do an enhanced spin attack. So it won't allow you to do two magic things at once. Why exactly? I have no real idea, to be honest. Anyway, uh, from this chest contains... The Hover Boots! With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside? No traction. You can even use these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. So yeah, the hover boots. Uh, these are our new footwear. Um, it has less traction than uh, the normal boots, as indicated. Because I let go of the control stick now. And just slide a bit. Uh, it's a tad tricky to control, but it's really not a huge deal. So evidently you could just... Yes, yes, yes. 
So evidently you could just, you know, wear them for the entirety of the dungeon, which I'm probably going to be doing, to be honest. Uh, we're going to be getting into its main um, gimmick later, as of for right now. We have heading back all the way to the main room. All right. So, there's a gate over there, but we can't really do anything about that just now. Only one who has sacred feet can cross, have cross, can cross the Valley of the Dead. And if we go check this thing, make my beak face the skull of truth. The alternative is descent into the deep darkness. So using the lens of truth, um, all the skulls on the pillars would disappear except for one. We gotta make this guy face the one that is not invisible. That doesn't disappear. If we if we don't, then that happens. It just completely drops the floor from under us. So we gotta keep pushing. Until we reach uh, the one over there. <clears throat> uh, if you keep pushing, it won't uh, drop you, so keep that in mind. There we go. Takes a second, but it opens up. Uh, and with the hover boots... We can hover for like... Uh, one or two seconds. It's really not a great item, to be honest, but it gets us across locations that we can couldn't really get to before. Uh, there is a Beamos up ahead. <clears throat> so yeah, the upper boots, you're pretty much going to be wearing the most of the dungeon. There's really no... Nope, that just stunned him. Yeah, sometimes when you blow up a Beamos, it kind of just stuns him. I think it's if you just blow blow up their face directly. Uh, some of these are fake. The only one that's actually real is this one. However, I think that one contains... Yeah, it needs a key, so we'll do a little bit of exploring. In this room are a couple of Gibdos. And you know what? I'm going to make this super easy on myself. My first by taking off these damn boots. And secondly, by... Uh, using the Sun Song. Because as stated before, if you use the Sun Song while next to a Redead or Gibdo, it completely paralyzes them. So we just go ahead and for a single jump attack, take it on one hit. As well as for this one. If all the hits connect... And spawns a chest. Is it the compass already? Wow. They're pretty lenient, pretty generous with the dungeon items in this one. <clears throat> oh, I never actually went over the whole temple on its own, actually. <clears throat> now, the Shadow Temple itself is actually quite big. Like these, like for example, the bottom fourth floor has the most amount of crap in the entire dungeon. So, once we get down there, it's going to be quite a hassle. And the Beamos is back, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So that room contained the compass. And this room uh, contains some giant scythe-wielding statues. And we want to collect all the silver rupees in this area. We can use... It's practically the... Oh God, you don't know what I'm talking about because I fucking missed it. God damn it. Uh, it's like the um, ice blade thing in the ice cavern, but considering that we never actually went into the ice cavern, you don't know what the hell that is. But it's pretty simple. You just duck under it using your shield, and you'll practically avoid all damage. What the? Wait, I can latch onto this? That's weird. I guess it is wood. Is it? I mean, the top is, but eh, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, doing that uh, what's up that way. Um, you can roll under it. Uh, real quick. Ow. Just down here. Oh, wait. We can't actually do anything down here. Never mind. Please tell me we can grapple back up. No, we can't. Oh, great. So, for some surfaces, you can hook shot onto that are climbable. But, for the most part, they're just going to let you climb the way, whole way back up. <clears throat> if we check our map, that is actually uh, at the bottom third floor. So, we'll be exploring that much later. As for the time being, uh, we need to go ahead and grab that chest that was locked behind that gate. Uh, go ahead and open this. <clears throat> and grab ourselves a small key. Using that key will obviously open up the door that we just witnessed. Saw. Witnessed. What the hell am I talking about? Just over here. Ignore that guy. All right, is this the big, big room? Not yet. We're getting close to the big, big room. Goddamn Skulltales! Just get the hell out of my way. You gonna drop some hearts? Nope, because you're a jerk. 
Another one right here. Okay, it's just so nice to kill those things in one hit. It'd be great if we can actually see the shadow of them. There you go, you dropped one heart for me. Thank you. Alright, I think... Oh, they are gu guillotines here, so uh, be careful where you step. I don't know why there's guillotines down here, but hey, let's just put some down here. Why not? I was going to tell us to watch out for the shadows of monsters. Uh, obviously indicating that there's a f wall master here. And in this giant location, uh, yeah, there's a lot for us to do in this small little area. Well, big area. Almost fell off the edge. Fire bubble there. I don't know what he's doing there. And just right here is a Stalfos. Just a normal enemy. It's on, on its own. If you somehow trick it, you can get it to actually fall off the edge. Come on, buddy. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> so if that guy's taken care of, we can now actually progress forward. Uh, using the lens of truth, we can see that there's some platforms over here. Also, while you have the while you have the lens equipped, um, the hover boots effect doesn't show for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know, probably the limitation of what the N64 can handle back then. So it's to be expected. Uh, also here there's an invisible one for some reason. And in this room I believe we have to kill everything that's in it. So we'll go ahead and take out our bow. Get rid of that for the time being. Uh, go ahead and hit that one. Hit the one right there. Go ahead and hit the one that's way over there. Nope, that's way too high. Nope, didn't mean to put that on. There we go. Alright, I think that's all the keys. Now we just have to take care of the like-like. Nope. Can you just get over here? Hover boots are not the best things to uh, fight in, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Ow. Uh, with less traction, you're not really going to go far with attacks, so best to not have them equipped for most most parts. In fact, we didn't really need to use them to get here. Um, Alright, there's Gold Skull Tully here. I believe that brings us up to 80, doesn't it? Ooh, yes it does. Nice. Uh, go ahead and open this chest. We'll get us some uh, 5 rupees. And if we open up this chest that's invisible, uh, this will get us a bundle of arrows. Thank you, because I really actually needed that. Oh man, that feels good. Alright, so with that, that's practically just a little side room for our skull so it wasn't really all that necessary. Yeah, we can just jump across. Hover boots aren't even necessary for this little area. I believe the stall will would jump back down. Yes, he will. Uh, the boots are necessary for this little location. To actually get onto this platform that's rising up. Oh, there's the effect. I guess it's just random when it actually activates sometimes. Alright, whiff it all the way up. Use the hover boots to go onto this little area over here. Get our bombs back out. Nope, that's a bomb tube, which is worthless. Uh, there's a... I, yeah, oh, we didn't actually have, actually have to blow him up. Huh. You can just rub against him and we'll grab the uh, silver rupee, which is nice. People are going to point out my phrasing for that one, but I really don't care, to be honest. Alright, so if you can see way over there, for sure you can, uh, there is a locked door, so obviously we're going to need the small key. Should be, should be standard by now. Alright, this place. Alright. Only one with the Eye of Truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. So, using the Eye of Truth, we can uh, find a block that we can pull out. <coughs> throat is starting to get a tad buggy. You don't even need to keep it on, Ashley. So we pull it out uh, about here. Is there anything actually in here? Nope. Okay. So with this block... Oh, it's actually uneven there. Damn it, that's annoying. Uh, with the block, we can actually uh, protect ourselves from these blades that are just pummeling down on us. And once we get to here, uh, we want to 
let go of it and head on to this little small room. Because in here, I don't even think we need to... Can we grab it? Totally can, can't we? Nope, we can't. Okay. In here is a gold skulltilla, bringing us to 81. Plenty more where that came from. I believe, yeah, there's a chest right here. Get some nice, more arrows, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and carry this all the way to the end, because it is necessary for us to do so, obviously. Uh, once we're at the very end, we're going to have to climb it. Um, is there a chest over here? Doesn't seem like it. So we'll go ahead and climb this, jump up here. Using these things to actually carry us over here. I think this is the, no, this is the one with the switch that we need to activate. This one I think just has, yep. Why is it always blue rupees? I have 500 rupees. I don't need money. Money is so worthless in this game once you get everything that you need that you need to buy. It's so unnecessary. Here's where the small key is. Okay. Like, money is the most worthless thing in this game. It's so useless. You never need money in this game. God. It's annoying, if anything. At least it's not as bad as a uh, pre-HD uh, Twilight Princess. Because in that game, if you find a... You find a chest that contains rupees... Uh, and your wallet's full, then you just put it back into the chest for later. Which is nice. But it's also going to be annoying for completionists when they see that their uh, map isn't fully cleared off. Alright, in this room, there are spikes in certain locations, as well as a couple of re-deads. Uh, the re-deads, creepily enough, can actually climb over the spikes, so we'll just go ahead and take care of him. Uh, that will spawn a chest. Which is nice, I guess. What, is, what do you contain? I swear to God, if you just more rupees. Why even bother? Why, like, why bother with the rupees? I failed to see a reason for that. That's that's a reward for killing all the enemies in the room. Why would you bother with that then? All right, where is it? Oh, there it is. Visible target. Like, it's it's not worth it. There's literally zero reason to grab that rupee in any way whatsoever. Where is it? There it is. Alright, I want to angle this just so I can grab two of the rupees in one go. Not too sure if I can do that, but I'll try. Nope, it's not. It's too far away. Yeah, it's too far away. Um, so, we'll go ahead and grapple onto that one. Doing so will allow us to jump over here. Go ahead and grab onto that one. Nope. Said onto that one. I said onto that one. There we go. All right. What's up that one? Ooh. All right. In here. All right. Yeah, this one. Okay. I, oh, no, we was just going to tell us about the bars, right? All right, so in this room, uh, not only is there a gold skeleton just hanging out right down there. Uh, this room, I think we need to kill all the keys in here again so that we can uh, get out of here. Are you telling me that the keys can get the blue fire and turn into fire keys? Because that's annoying. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is not going to bode well for a certain event later. Alright, so that opens up the room over there. That opens up the door again. However, uh, we want to take a bomb and try to chuck it into uh, that skull there. I'm actually going to use my bombs because there I've got plenty to go through. Uh, yep. There we go. Uh, blowing up the skull will drop us a small key, which we need for the... What do we need it for? We can actually see the door. Okay, yeah, the door. No, the door up here. Right. What am I saying? It's right there. No, I was way off. Jeez. All right. Go ahead and open up this door. Leads us into, I think, is this the fans. Yep, it's the fans. Okay. Uh, with the fans. Uh, if we try to run against the fans, 
It's going to push us back. What's the word I'm looking for? Especially if we're wearing the hover boots, because they will launch us far if we're wearing those. Yes, I know what it is. Kill it. There we go. So if they are boots, uh, they're obviously not going to push us anywhere. Go ahead and grapple onto this. I said onto this. Drops us down here. That thing just shoots fire. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, there's a secret room over there. However, we want to head over here just real quick. I could take off my iron boots, but I really don't want to, to be honest. There we go. <clears throat> Stubborn, damn it. Is there... Oh, yeah, there is. Obviously. God. What is it with the turning in these things? It gets us a bundle of arrows, which is nice. Uh, that just tells us about uh, letting the wind blow us through the door. What is with the turning in these things? All right, so if we position ourselves here, get rid of this stupid fire, position ourselves here, equip the hover boots, uh, and that will blow us all the way over to this door. And a couple more give those for us to kill. It's not a big deal at all unless they spot us. What the hell was that? Like grabbed onto us mid-jump and it didn't really do anything. Really don't need you to do that right now. Come on. There we go. Okay. Alright, that gives us that chest. Um, obviously indicated by the mini-map, there's another chest in here because this one just contains rupees. So go ahead and chuck a bomb over to that thing. Uh, I can see it, but it's right there. And we get ourselves another small key. All right, we have actually been going on for quite a while. We're pretty much like halfway through the dungeon already, if anything, I think. Yeah, we're almost actually done it. Holy crap. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to be cutting it here. Uh, we're going to be exploring the rest of the Shadow Temple. Obviously, hopefully completing it. That'd be fantastic if we could. This has actually been going pretty well so far. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next episode.